Rudolph auto EL3 ellipsometer. Uh, the laser source is on the left hand side. The polarizer crystal is on this axis. The compensator is here on the aluminum divider. This is the sample stage. The analyzer is on this side and the detector head is over here. The basic operations of the system is operable from the keyboard. Uh, at any point of time, reset starts the initialization of the sample. Uh, After powering up, warm up the system for at least 15 minutes. And the program button enables to enter the program code. Reset to initialize the system. And the halt is at any time you want to stop measurement and do that. And the continue button is to advance to the next operation step. The laser is a helium neon laser. Place the sample on the stage. Uh, the laser is visible sometimes, depending on the polarization angle position. And once you place the sample, make sure the laser is passing through the aperture on the detector head. It has to be centered in the aperture. This vertical section is auto collimator and the stage has four knobs. The bottom one is for the adjustment of the stage height up and down and there are three knobs on the stage, two on either side and one on the front. Looking through the auto collimator, the eyepiece, you see a bright circular spot. It has to be in the cross section circle in the center. To move the spot up and down, you have to use the front knob and to move the bright spot to the center sidewise, you have to use the, the knobs on either side of the stage. These micrometers uh, permit to move the stage precisely and both the uh, x-axis and y-axis directions. The first step in the operation, as for the display, follow the instructions. First up compensator, that is by pushing up the compensator and press continue. In case if the laser is not properly aligned and it is not shooting into the detector, there will be an error message, null not found. You have to adjust this height and all the knobs on the stage to get the laser beam at the center of the aperture. Now the next step is down compensation and press continue or program. I'm entering the program number 211000 and you have to use button E for entering and now the system asks for lower film N which is refractive index enter 1 D for the decimal point 462 and press enter now the measurement cycle begins this is a nulling ellipsometer a nulling type ellipsometer 
the system verifies the null at the initialization of the system. The system is capable of measuring single films and dual films, provided the optical constants of the substrate and the films are known. The optical constants are the refractive index and extinction ratio, uh, which are normally dependent on the material of the film. So the measurement is over and the system is now displaying the TL which is the thickness of the layer and this is the fixed NL which is the entered value of the refractive index and the order thickness. This is the maximum thickness the system will display. thickness of the film. If the film thickness exceeds 2825 angstroms, then the value would be that the displayed thickness plus the order thickness. And if it is more than more than double the order thickness, then we have to add the value and the second two times or three times the order thickness. The manual describes how to calculate the thicknesses more than 2800 angstroms. In order to measure the refractive index, uh, we can use program 210. The intermediate values delta and psi are displayed. Now, this is the calculated refractive index, pretty close to the optical constant of the film, which is silicon dioxide. Now let us, I'm going to measure the thickness of a sample which is less than 1000 angstroms, around 434. This is a Rudolph standard. And to measure it, let's continue. the program, we can halt the program, and to change the program number, we can always enter it. thin layer, the measured value is well within the limits, about 400 angstroms. We are going to measure a layer now which is more than 1000 angstroms. The Z knob or the height adjustment is always need not be changed because only when the sample thickness changes, only then the zeno the height is to be adjusted.
system takes uh, about less than a minute to do each measurement. So, the measured thickness is 2,233 angstroms, pretty close to the standard thickness, which is 2,236 angstroms. I have a standard that is 9,470 angstroms, so I want to measure it. It's thickness now. The moving up down of the compensator is to be done only whenever the system is reset and the ellipsometer needs to be initialized. Otherwise, for regular measurements, once the system is initialized, the compensator need not be moved at all. So this is a 9,000 angstrom standard and the unit display is 1,022. So the order thickness is 28,25 angstroms, 28,25 times 3, which is equals 8,475 plus 1,022 which is 9,497 angstroms. The printer prints the data at the end of the measurement cycle. And it's a parallel printer. And there's a 25-pin serial port uh, on the system, on the rear side, which could be used to connect to a serial printer or uh, to be interfaced to communicate to a computer or any kind of data acquisition system. 